Yo, what's up with it? How y'all doing today? Everybody all right? Everybody had a good day today? What's going on with you? Y'all already know what's going on, man. We back again in the building. You know what I'm saying? Another episode, Big Five Podcast. We gonna get into the super goddamn mayor this time. You feel me? A little crazy little, you feel me? A little something, man. Dalton, Illinois, you feel me? Where the mayor be going crazy out there for real. Like, I'm talking about going crazy. Like, so we finna get into that, and we finna have us a good time today, man. Everybody roll up, you know what I mean, and do your thing, pull up, you feel me? We finna turn up, you know what I'm saying? That's how we get out, you know? And you know it's only right that we pop this thing off with our intro, you know what I'm saying? We can't just do it like that, but we gonna do this shit together today, you feel me? We lit, you know what I'm saying? We ain't about to play no games, you know what I'm saying? None. You feel me? I promise you, stop playing, stop playing. Stop playing. These folks gonna stop playing with us, bro. We out here for real. You know what I'm saying? We out here. How everybody doing today? Make sure y'all got them like, comment, subscribe. You feel me? Hit the notifications, all that type of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all gotta make sure y'all fuck with me. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with a nigga, man. Don't be like that. Fuck with a nigga. You feel me? Like we gonna do this shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't do nothing but get better with it. You know what I'm saying? So just rock with me, and, and we're going to grow together with this shit. You feel me? We're going to grow together. I promise you. That's all to it. You know what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to know. You know what I'm saying? Rock with me and rock with you, you know? That's just what it is. You feel me? We we popping this shit off the ground. You know what I'm saying? Might be a little shaky at first. Just a little. Just a, just a tad. You know what I'm saying? Just a tad. But for the most part... We're going to get it in, nigga. <laughs> We're going to get it in, bro, bro. You can bet that shit. You feel me? So, um, I guess we can go ahead and get into the motherfucking intro. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and rock out one time. You feel me? Yeah. Let's go ahead and rock out one time, man. Because we in the building, man. I'm your host, man. Big Five. You know what I'm saying? The Fever. Coming straight from Garden City in the building. You feel me? You already know what's going on. Savannah, Georgia, you know, Atlanta, you know, G8, G8, rough niggas, what? Y'all, we in here. But anyway, um, I'm kind of hyped tonight, man. I don't know what's going on with me, bro. I'm lit. Feel me? And I ain't, I ain't got damn drunk nothing. You know what I'm saying? I've been just cooling, but I'm lit tonight. You know what I'm saying? How y'all, can y'all hear me? Let me know, man. You know what I'm saying? We in here, man. You know, we in here tonight. You feel me? I had to get that shit a little right. You feel me? Now you can hear a nigga. Now you hear a nigga. Now that voice coming in solid. You did. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, man. Let's get into it, though, for real, man. Let's jump into this shit, man. Let's go ahead and rock out, bro. Let's go ahead and rock out one time. You know what I'm saying? You know we got to do this shit the right way, you know? We can't be out here playing, man. We got to do this shit the right way, baby. You know what I'm saying? Let's pop out. Pop out. Let's get it, nigga. Rocking the intro, man. Let's go. Fifth screen shit, nigga. We in the building, nigga. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. King of the five. Niggas hating on me, I'm a fucking bitch, you know, real niggas, real niggas, real niggas that'll go on your shit, if you pussy niggas ever, I got a bad bitch that'll fuck a bitch, call me younger than a bitch, take me to stay busy, you gon' die broke, I was born broke, I'ma die rich, but I rep the six, never made six, used to hit licks, nine nigga live off in the A, but I'm still in my garden city shit, still grinding, trying to get rich, stand away from you fuck niggas, trust on, now just, it's just less bitch, so I fuck, so the love money, I got trust it, die half my men, I try to stay focused on the big shit, living late night, on the pie with the roast in the rat, nigga. Hot fans in the window. No wounds went at you. Listen, gas heat through the cold window. See, I really can't do nothing. Yo, try to ball hard. Ball hard. Let's go. Born broke, but I'm a die rich. Born broke, but I'm a die rich. Yo. Born broke, but I'm a die rich. I'm a born broke. Yo. Yo. Get your stuff a bag, nigga. Alright. Hey, first finish this last. last. Born, bro. Yo. Man, we in here, man. What's up? Hey, everybody rock. Hey, man, what's happening? 
What's happening? Everybody rocking out cool? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got bangers on deck. Y'all see it, but you know, we ain't gonna get into all that right now. We ain't gonna get into all that right now. We here, we here about the goddamn Superman. You feel me? We're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep that shit. You feel me, player? We're gonna keep it focused. You know what I'm saying? We ain't here tonight, though. What's up with y'all, bro? How everybody rocking out, man? Make sure y'all got damn like, comment, and subscribe to this shit, man. Because we finna get into these crazy ass politicians. You feel me? Well, actually, just one. And her name is Miss Tiffany Henyard. Yeah, she a real city girl. I ain't lying. She got them got it going on, boy. I'm talking about she getting these goddamn people. Cars repossessed, nigga. Play with her, nigga. She motherfucking pulling up, nigga. Got her, got the police on her side like her. Goddamn security, nigga. And the, and the police talk like a little girl. Yeah, I'm telling you now. Next time I'm going to pull you over. Fuck it. Little, little, um, I forgot his name. And he got a girl name. But, um, <laughs> and then goddamn, um, and then and then Mary he and she got them carry her asses. Imagine her uh, got them uh, on club shape shape. So so you said so you said to too. You can hear that shit the whole goddamn. <laughs> That's how I be. Hey man, both of them motherfuckers with them fat tones, man. Stop playing <laughs> for real, bro. But anyway, man, we gonna get into this um Tiffany thing tonight. You know she got them. She cutting up where she at, bro. There be some shit. You ain't you don't never really see no damn politicians act like her, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I I, I never seen it. And then on top of that, if her ass wasn't the mayor, she would have been booked. <laughs> they would have been booked her ass. I'm not lying. They'd have been me like, hell no. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into her shit. Let's find out. Let's go to Miss 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 Hinyard. See how lit Tiffany is. See if I can type in. See, uh oh, she at the top of the list, boy. That's how you know she lit. Let's go to the first thing. See, this is a mental health bill that everybody been talking about in her little city. Uh, you know, one issue that represents a relatively small group of people in the South suburbs is a tax to support new mental health services. Uh, to be offered by Thornton Township. It would have added about 42 bucks to a $100,000 home. Not too controversial, right? But it is in this case because Township Supervisor Tiffany Henyard has faced an onslaught of criticism after our reporting on her lavish spending on first-class travel, meals at high-end restaurants. And she be balling. She retaliates against her critics. In fact, uh, this tax... See, see, the thing about it is she got the city and like goddamn seven million dollars worth of debt as far as from what i've seen from the damn town me <coughs> excuse me but they got like seven million dollars in debt so what she's been doing is she's been trying to hustle up the goddamn money so this is one of her little schemes right here that she used to goddamn try to hustle up the bread that was on the ballot to support mental health services 11 of 17 south suburban mayors came out against it. They essentially said, vote no, we don't trust what Tiffany Henyard will do with the money. Okay, and apparently people listen because look at this. This is the result tonight from that. 38% uh, of the people. Yeah, see, she got the goddamn mayor. She the mayor of the, of, the, of the township. They got like a little shit where they got like a township where she over like 17 different other little cities. And then she got down the mayor of another city called Dalton. But she run that too, you feel me? So she got down... She been spending up them folks' money, goddamn. So now she done been trying to raise taxes, talking about fucking mental health and shit. And then from what they saying, she done fired the dude who actually supposed to do it for the city and shit, or, or for the township. The dude who actually supposed to do it, like she fired him already, you feel me? And now she trying to raise them folks' taxes and <laughs> get some of that goddamn money she done been burning in Vegas and shit. Voted yes, but the 62%, that's what count, counts, voting no. Uh, saying they do not support that uh, referendum for Thornton Township uh, mental health tax. Oh, we got more. We got more. We got more. She ain't done now. She got damn lit. Got a controversy over a tax proposal in the South suburbs. Some lawmakers. Uh oh, what are we doing? Struggle screaming a little bit. We struggle screaming. Let's go. 
Come on with it. Wind on me. I want you to wind so on. Whether the money will be spent properly. Wind on me. I want you to wind for me. I want you to wind on me. I want you to wind for me. Township trustees <laughs> expressing concerns about that proposal moving forward. Dane Placco joining us live with what is giving them pause. Dane? Yeah, a large group of South Suburban mayors have now banded together to urge their constituents to vote no on a referendum that would give Thornton Township and its controversial supervisor, Tiffany Henyard, nearly $3 million in new funding. How many of the villages do you think are opposed to this? The majority of them. All of them. All of them. All the ones that signed. This afternoon, we met with the mayors of Markham, Homewood, and East Hazelcrest, who are among 11 South Suburban mayors who signed that letter, urging their residents to vote no to giving Thornton Township more money. It comes in the form of a referendum on next week's primary ballot that asks taxpayers whether they support a 0.15% property tax increase for the township that would go for mental <laughs> Look health at services. If approved, it would raise nearly $3 million. Big Tiff with them goddamn with that baby head slick on that thing, boy. Look at Big Tiff, boy. She ain't got to be playing, boy. Big Tiff said, y'all black. Y'all black. Y'all black. We got hit on a black woman. And dollars in new taxes, roughly $200 a year for a home worth $200,000. But the mayors say Thornton Township Supervisor Tiffany Hanyard has not explained exactly how that money will be spent. And they point to our reporting on Henyard's spending, both as township supervisor and as the mayor of Dalton, including thousands of dollars for trips out of town, using police for a personal security detail. I told y'all. Credit card <laughs> spending and public tax dollars funneled into a charity in her own name. That she don't play no games. My constituents would ask me. Is that, Mayor, can you explain what this is about? We would communicate about that. Do you, well, do you know what it's about? No, I don't. How much money is going to actually be generated? Where's the mental health facility going to go? And what actually are they going to do? She's never communicated to any mayor that I'm aware of. And that's really mm -hmm. our concerns is, you know, what is she going to do with this pot of money that she's going to get? Now, there are a total of 17 suburbs within Thornton Township. As we mentioned, at least 11 of the mayors of those uh, villages have uh, signed on to this letter. We reached out to Hanyard through her public relations agency. So far, we have not received any response to their... See, this ain't even the half of it. I'm just... We just getting into her new shit. You feel me? This is her new shit. Let's go to... um. Let's see. Oh, here he is right here. Let's go to the, the super mayor one time. I'm going to let y'all see how she be rocking out. And that's why I've called mess, messy people. Misery needs company. And that's what yeah, these poor individuals need. They need company. They need you guys to like what they do. See how she talk like she on club, Shay Shay? See how she talk like... <laughs> the one which is nothing in the village of Dalton. And I try to point out every single board meeting how they neglect y'all, how they don't pay bills to that one vendor that asked to get paid. The trustees took you out of that <laughs> warrant list. And I've asked them and begged them to pay y'all because you guys are doing the service of the people, but people not paying attention to that. Lights everywhere in our village. See, the thing about it is she got them folks got their money fucked up and she can't pay these folks bills. So then these folks be coming to the damn town hall meeting complaining. So when you hear her addressing Buddy, she addressing Buddy because he done addressed them like, yo, can I get paid for my services? Like, goddamn, what's going on? Especially on the west side where Trustee Norwood live, but she voted no to take care of the west side where she stay. Where they do that at? Either you want to service the people or you just here taking up a seat. That's why I tell everybody you are bench warm. You are on the, you're on the seat for just a limited time. And people got to remember this when election time come up. Because them same individuals be at your door asking you for help when mm. you need the help right now. Right now, residents. And that's why I've called. You heard what she said, didn't it? You? you win them seats. Win them seats. <laughs> you gotta win them seats. Yeah. And that's when you run. You win them seats. Uh-oh. She got a nice little side view going on. Uh-oh. Big Tiff. 
Big Tiff. Here it is. There she go. Lying on goddamn. So, sure. like, uh, your critics say uh, that uh, you have a significant security detail. First of all, how large is your police department uh, in Dalton? Uh, and what is your security? Now, I want y'all to pay attention to what she say about her detail because we're going to get to her detail. Yeah. Detail. So we have about 45 officers in mm -hmm. our village. Um, my security is warranted due to the fact of threats and things of that nature. But what people are not stating is it's in our CBA. That's our collective bargaining agreement. That's our union contract. So it come with a seat. That's what people are not saying. I didn't make this up. I didn't just create this to say I want security. It came so, uh, your critics say uh, that uh, you have a significant. She said due to the threats in her life, she's not going to say how much, right? Because she don't want to say how much because goddamn trustee house will goddamn put her out there. Old trustee house. Trustee house said he going for goddamn mayor. Damn that bullshit. The village failed to make a massive payment. Yeah, the threat now. Tow trucks could be arriving soon to repossess some village vehicles. And WGN's Courtney Spinelli is joining us live from Dalton with the latest. Courtney? Micah and Ray, some of those vehicles be like this girl actually done got damn fucked up them folks money so much to the point where she got the police cars about to get repo. The police cars, dog. Can you imagine goddamn getting blue lighted and goddamn the nigga giving you a goddamn ticket to repo Joe? Come back that motherfucker up in front. <laughs> come back it up in front of that goddamn police car right quick and take off. <laughs> he chasing the goddamn police car. I mean, the, the repo with repossession <laughs> include village of Dalton police cruisers and accessories that the village financed back in 2019, much like the one right behind me tonight. Some village of Dalton trustees and their legislative council are calling for answers and accountability. There's no accountability. In yet another shock to Village of Dalton trustees, a letter falling on their desks dated February 14th. Representatives from Kansas Valentine's Bay Day threatening to repossess 13 village vehicles, saying more than $76,000 is. Look at that shit. Just look at that. Just look at it. You got them in Vegas balling out, but you can't got there make sure the city protected. But they got you as the mayor and the goddamn township. Boy, look at him, boy. I know goddamn boy. Hey, listen, motherfuckers who voted for your ass, I know they goddamn shooting themselves in the foot right now, sir. I ain't lying. Is overdue and climbing. The Board of Trustees approved payment in May of 2023. But where that loan payment went that was due nine months ago is anyone's guess. Lawyers for the bank now warning the village, pay up or be ready for repossession agents to take the vehicles, which include six police cruisers. Well, the consequences initially are, are life threatening. A fear for public safety if means to respond to calls and emergencies is hindered. Seven other vehicles also facing repossession include six public works cars. <laughs> David about to arrest the little goddamn Fiat. Uh, ain't that what the little shit says? <laughs> they about to arrest the little meep meeps. They about to goddamn repo them shits too, goddamn it. Damn that. Hey, listen. Nigga, the repo man don't give a fuck. Nigga, like shit, nigga, the boy. That's money, boy. Shit. She can blame whoever she wants, but the board did their job back in May and authorized payment. She's blocking payment. Legislative Council for the Board of Trustees for Damn, Olson she got her name everywhere. Self-proclaimed super mayor, Tiffany Hanger. None of them do the things that we do here. As unpaid bills by the village have come to light, WGN Investigates has uncovered exorbitant spending on lavish trips and experiences by Hengard and her allies, including a trip to Vegas that cost more than $12,000. I told y'all. Same month, the loan payment. Didn't I tell y'all she was in Vegas balling out? She in Vegas balling, but the goddamn people about to repo the goddamn people cars, man. What the hell? Big Tiff. Big Tiff, what you got going on, Big Tiff? God damn, fam. Come on, fam. You got to do better than this. Let's do. I have never, ever seen the abuse that this mayor is, is laying on the feet of her citizens, ever. Village of Dalton trustees going head to head with Hengard at meetings, calling for transparency so residents know where taxpayer dollars are going. We need the receipts to understand hey. what's going on. That's that was my boy Trustee House right there. 
And you see that nigga sitting next to Tiffany? That's the that's the another damn snake. He the goddamn snake in the grass right there. Look at him. He don't say shit. Hey, that nigga dirty as shit, but he don't say nothing that to me. It's all he do is say like two words and he get off the bike. They be dragging him the whole time. They're in charge of overseeing finances, but say the mayor has restricted them from access to those, leaving them mostly in the dark. On top of that, several trustees telling WGN Thursday they're now hearing from vendors that say they were hired for work and never paid. More expenses the board was not aware of. They have no idea what she's doing with the money. And no clear answer whether agents Big will start tip. taking village vehicles Big as tip, collateral man, for the man. unpaid bill. WGN reached out to a contact in the letter to the village who declined to comment. They're coming. It's just a matter of time. Now, he went by the village offices late this afternoon to try and speak with the mayor, but they were closed for the day. Board meetings are typically held on the first and third Monday of each month, but it appears there will not be another board. Hey, check this out, man. This shit here is fun. Let's go here. We don't want to hear all that. We ain't going to no nigga shit. WGN Investigates has an update on dysfunction in Dalton. <laughs> local leaders it is, y'all. Transparency, spending. And this one, Big Tiff had to let their ass know. Stop fucking playing with her. Back and it all played out at a hey, look, this one, Big Tiff had to let their ass know. Stop playing with her. Y'all motherfuckers, black. Y'all black. Public meeting last night. Y'all forget I am the leader. They want to hear from the mayor. If y'all ain't learned that yet, the mayor, not the trustees, that don't do nothing, that only run their mouth. Y'all don't do no work, no work. Tiffany Henyard considers herself something of a crusader, but one who's clearly annoyed by questions from a rebellious group of Dalton trustees who are in a standoff with her over spending. That's my boy, Trustee House. Vendors are not being paid. Board approved it. The vendors are not being paid. How about you be a good leader, bring RFPs to the forefront. So not just us, but the residents and everybody else in America know how the money is being spent. WGN Investigates has Ooh. cataloged tens of thousands of taxpayer dollars spent on trips, meals, and more. By she balling. And her allies in Dalton. She even was so thirsty to go Dalton see Sleepy Joe. Board where she's hey, Big Tiff wanted to, went to go see Sleepy Joe and everything. She taking selfies with Sleepy Joe. That motherfucker looked like a goddamn walking corpse. Hey, and goddamn, um, she all in goddamn Vegas balling, and the goddamn police cars about to get repoed. The goddamn Dalton trustees ready to goddamn team up and jump her ass like it's going down. <laughs> He's the supervisor. Township credit card records show Henyard and other officials spent more than six. Big Tiff all in the A with it. Stop playing. She all in the A with it. New York, nigga, Portland. Stop playing, man. What y'all playing with Big Tiff, man? Y'all playing with Big Tiff, nigga. Big Tiff ain't about to goddamn just get there and be the mayor of the motherfucking city, nigga, and the goddamn leader of the, of the township. And you think Big Tiff ain't finna go on no trips? Nigga, Big Tiff in the ball, nigga. Big Tiff in the ball and chill, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> $67,000 on trips to Portland, Austin, Atlanta, and New York City. Many of the flights were first class. So were the accommodations. In Atlanta, Henyard and her team stayed at the Four Seasons Hotel, costing taxpayers more than $9,000. In New York, the bill came to $13,000. Henyard has refused to explain the specific purpose of the trips or why they travel in such style. But she appeared to refer to our reporting at Monday's Dalton meeting. It is. Like everything we do, we do for the people. But we under attack. We getting scrutinized in the media. For what? Loving on the people? First off, all, y'all about to stop playing with Big Tiff. She about to let y'all ass know. Showing them that they matter to us. We going through the fires for y'all. Henyard calls her critics grandstanders who should get in line. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all self. Y'all black. Y'all are black. black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all self. Dalton's difficulties got worse in recent weeks with water main breaks. Henyard blames on trustee budget cuts. Then four people were shot and injured last week, leaving nerves frayed. Mm -mm -mm. Henyard's opponents. Mm -mm. Now y'all see. Now look, y'all see how she getting up out of that goddamn Tahoe, right? They call her Tahoe Tiffany. Just to let the township. <laughs> they call her Tahoe Tiffany. 
But we're gonna get to why they call her Tahoe Tiffany in a minute. And then, but check this out though. See how she getting up out of the um thing. Look at all the, the dudes now. That's how she got the police. That's why they took all the money from the police, because goddamn, she got the motherfuckers walking around like they her goddamn service. They heard they they at her disposal. I'm talking about she got like eight cops riding around with her. Pointing out her sizable security detail. It's unfortunate that politics are being played, but what has happened is a million dollars out of my budget has been cut because of politics. We're not saying the police is not doing a good job. What we're saying is you're assigning all of them to be with you when they should be out here protecting the residents so we can all feel safe. Residents are taking notice. Some spoke for and others. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but uh, we got the mayor here. I mean, meeting with the president. Just, the just a case, but we're gonna back it up just a tad. We're gonna back it up just a little bit. No, I want you wine for me. Come on, baby. It's unfortunate that politics are being played, but what has happened is a million dollars out of my budget. No, they go lacy right there, y'all. Because of politics. We're not saying the police is not doing a good job. What we're saying is you're assigning all of them to be with you when they should be out here protecting the residents so we can all feel safe. Residents are taking notice. Some spoke for and others against the mayor. Well, you know, we got the mayor here. I mean, meeting with the president of the United States. Everyone's seen the picture. I mean, that's a big deal. That, that I is told y'all she went to go look at it. Look, hold on, hold town. on, man. Hold yeah, on. He's a gentleman. Y'all don't see Big Tiff, man. Hold on, man. Y'all don't see Big Tiff, nigga. Big Tiff. Hold on, let me. I gotta cut the captions off. Y'all, y'all don't see. Y'all don't see Big Tiff, nigga. Ladies and y'all don't see. Hold on. Y'all don't see Big Tiff, nigga. Big Tiff, goddamn. Hold on, man. Big Tiff, goddamn. Look, look at it. <laughs> look at it. Every fucking body. Look that, bro. Come on, man. Now. Instagram and goddamn Facebook cannot be that serious, dog. I mean, seriously, bro. God damn. Like, bro, she really don't look like a politician right now on everything. It's great promotion for this city, for this town. Ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> be civil. Do things right. <laughs> Think of the residents. You are here to. You are here. Think of the residents. To represent the, the residents and not yourself. Henyard and her publicity team no longer respond to our emails seeking an explanation of her spending. As we've reported, she is also the face of a cancer charity that bears her name, one that has failed to file required fine. So look, we're going to get into this. We're going to watch a little bit of, um, matter of fact, let's get into her, how she be cutting up with okay. Come up and talk about negative things, but So this the lady right here, she be snapping on Tiff ass at the goddamn meeting. She be letting her know, like, nah, you're not gonna get all my goddamn records. You can ask specifically for what you want, but you ain't finna get all my shit. I don't give a damn what you're talking about. And I'm done talking. That Friday, she and I were out at different meetings all day. We left the office at 11 o'clock. And we were gone to like six o'clock that evening. But during the course of us going to one of the meetings, uh, Scott from maintenance called us and said, Clark, 
what code do you want to put on your office? I'm like, what do you mean what code do I want to put? I have a code. He said, but I'm changing it because you said someone compromised. I said, I never told you anyone compromised my code. Leave my code alone. Well, he was instructed by Keith Freeman to change my code. So he changed my code. Didn't I tell you old goddamn Keith a snake? Boy, Keith be sniddling, slithering around that motherfucker. Biting your ass and goddamn, he be gone. He a real cobra now. I ain't gonna lie. This nigga here, he dangerous. If that nigga don't say shit, he just be doing shit. <laughs> oh, I come to work the next day. I can't get in my office because the code has been changed. Jason, who accompanied me because things are getting so toxic, toxic, and Barbara, thank you again because you accommodated us. So toxic, we couldn't get in. But let me back up a little bit. That same day, that Friday, Dalton police went to Deputy Clark's uh, home, her mother's home, and said, we're doing a well-being check. Eris didn't come to work today. The biggest, her mother is standing there very startled because while we're in the office, her mother called and we were talking to her. But yet, mm -hmm. if someone comes to your house, two officers and said, Dalton You're police, back went to Deputy Clark's uh, home, her mother's home, and said, we're doing a well-being check. Eris didn't come to work today. The biggest lie that could ever be told. <laughs> she using the police as her own. I told y'all, she using the police like her own goddamn personal security. See, y'all think Big Tiff be playing. <clears throat> when Big Tiff say, God damn, you got to go, nigga, she send the boys up in that motherfucker. And she gonna clear that, they gonna clear that shit out. Yeah, it's gotta get up out of there. You can read that goddamn paper all you want, but you going home today. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just sign this. We've been instructed not to return to the building at all. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know how much I need. Y'all think Big Tiff playing. Big Tiff got their ass walking up out that motherfucker. Like, hey, hey man, listen. Big Tiff said y'all got to go. So, hey, wrap it up. We got to roll. Big Tiff said y'all got to go, goddammit. it. Right now, and trust me, she's going to get the job done. But... 
listen, listen, Big Tiff, she ain't playing with their ass. You see what that shit said? Ain't it? These the goddamn village of goddamn Dalton trustees making videos about her ass. You think I'm lying in it? Well, check this out. We're going to, let's go into this shit a little bit. Let's go into some of their shit. <clears throat> check this out. Now, check this out now. The goddamn mayor, she came in that motherfucker one day trying the whole city like she was Nino Brown. Like the damn snitch himself. Look how she came in there. <laughs> Big Tiff ain't playing with your ass. This is my boy got them uh trusty house though. Good evening, residents. Unfortunately, the Dalton trustees had to attend this meeting abruptly. And the reason for that is we've been repeatedly asking for information that's been documented time and again about credit card statements. We haven't received credit card statements for six months. We haven't gotten the electronic warrant list, yet we're supposed to vote on it. We haven't gotten factual information about the tax increase. This is a tax increase for the residents, and we are fighting to get information about that with no discussion and no input from the residents. So, unfortunately, tonight we have to adjourn the meeting early. We will be hosting a special board meeting. That's goddamn trustee Earth, house. Dalton Park District. One four <clears throat> he going to be their new mayor. Let's go to some shit. If y'all think it's a game, watch how to... Um, this My is not to be and with the pain and struggle, a testament of resilience and unwavering determination to fight for what is right and let us stand united in the pursuit of justice, ensuring that our voices are heard and the struggles are acknowledged. And thank you for standing by me in this journey together. We will reclaim our city and pave the way for a brighter, more incredible future. Tiffany, you do not. You do not stand for my kid, and you do not stand for me. I hold you in this fight. You lie. You lie to us as residents. You do. <laughs> you see how goddamn they going in on her ass, ain't it? Big Tip been burning them check, nigga. Big Tip been goddamn racks on racks on racks, nigga. She, nigga. Big Tip been burning that nigga. Nigga, she been BMF, nigga. She blowing that money real fast, nigga. She, Big Tip say, nigga, the money there. The money right there. That ain't my mic. That's they mic. That's how she do. The township goddamn microphone be fucking up so people can't hear when the lady be yelling and stuff. Calm down. Calm down. Time is up. Time is up. Next. Ladies and gentlemen, you cannot disrupt the meeting. If the meeting is disrupted, we will ex we will disperse the meeting. Excuse me one second. See, that's Lacey. He always want to goddamn disperse the meeting because he don't be wanting them folks to go in because he know. He know. And then the old girl snapped on his ass in this meeting right here. We need to go to that. I'm going to let Buddy talk for a minute and then we're going to go to that meeting where, um, where uh, Lacey got his ass. Well, she handed Lacey ass. Dumb ass nigga. Again, the sound is not working for the residents the, that are watching online. The sound is working. Now, y'all just clearly heard how the sound was messing up. But you hear what Big Tiff said. Bitch, the sound is working. Fuck. They say it's not working. Okay. All right, go ahead. Sorry. Okay, yo, my name is Reed Harvey. I'm a long time resident since. My name is Reed Harvey. I'm a long time resident since 1986. My question is what was the financial status when Tiffany Henry was elected? What has your administration done or accomplished to better that? Are you aware that the village administrator currently is in a bankruptcy proceeding? Something like this does not happen overnight. First Timothy 5.8 says, 
But if any provide not for his own, his own is what he has authority, influence over, which is as the village administrator, and especially for those of his own house. He hath denied the faith because he calls himself a man of God and is worse than an infidel. Worse than an infidel. There was a meeting uh, maybe two weeks ago, the secret squirrel meeting. Well, maybe tonight we're going to have the city girl meeting. <laughs> Buddy but ain't playing. But one other thing that I might just point out, and I didn't have time people not researching it enough but there was something called the Shackman decree uh, at which Steve uh, Mayor, Board of Trustees, Department Heads uh, and Royal Hectic and Mobility Bolton Media Wire I want to start out by saying self-accountability is a bad thing in this administration the mayor can blame everybody for what's going on but she has to look at herself nobody told her to get on TV and lie like that Blatant lies. Did you spend this on a credit card? No, sir. I don't know where they got that from. You, that's that's unexcusable. These are easily verifiable lies. And she went right in front of the news and said, "I ain't spent nothing. I ain't never been to Vegas." No, sir. That's unacceptable. That immediate attention didn't get pick up until them lies came out on WGN. Nobody was really paying attention to check for Dalton like that until then. Also, the, the financial report. Who's the finance chair? Stan Brown. Does, does Stan know anything about the finances? Can he answer any questions? They, the, the trustees don't have the credit card receipts. See how he coming at Stan? Big Stan got there going to reply now. Big Stan ain't going to let that nigga just come at him like that now. Mayor's with the village reports, the financial reports, the stand have it because the rest of the trustees don't have it. And she's going to say everybody's lying. They do have it. The attorney general is asking for credit card receipts. I guess the attorney general is lying too. So this is where we're at in the village. It's self accountability. And if you can, the mayor can blame everybody. I know she wants to say I'm a black woman. And it's because I'm a woman. You know how many women that she's affected? Y'all black. Y'all black. And y'all trying to take down a black woman. That's in power. Look at what she did to Dr. Scott down the street. She wants to let her open up. Look how she talks to the other black women up here. These are all single mothers, just like her. Look how she talks to them. Look how she talks to the clerk who's old enough to be her mother. Look how disrespectful she is. If y'all can't see that, a lot of y'all do see that. I just don't refuse to see it. She's so disrespectful. And she told Brittany, don't say nothing else. I don't want to hear from you no more. How do you talk to an adult like that who's elected? Everybody that works for her know how disrespectful she is. So the department here, be careful. Like Chief lied last time and got caught up. The, 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 the calls were about to get repaired. They got a bad mic system. When it clearly wasn't him. So when you be careful, there's life after this day. And you have to move on. Okay, so look. Remember when um, um I was telling y'all that, that they had the chief? This is a part of what he just said. I had to, I was talking, but listen. If y'all can't see that, a lot of y'all do see that. I just don't refuse to see it. She's so disrespectful. And she told Brittany, don't say nothing else. I don't want to hear from you no more. How do you talk to an adult like that who's elected? Everybody that works for her know how disrespectful she is. So the department here, be careful. Like Chief lied last time and got caught up. The, 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 your calls were about to get repo. Oh, that's handled, trusty house. When it clearly wasn't handled. So when you be careful, there's life after this girl, and you have to move on. And if you're on camera lying for her because she told you to lie, believe me, it's all recorded. Everything's recorded. And be careful not to lie on something that can easily be proven that you lied. The chief said it was handled. It wasn't handled. They almost repossessed the car. Yeah, the chief, he got on the guy, and he was at the meeting telling them folks that the damn cars wasn't going to get repossessed, and they damn sure was. His ass lied. That's unacceptable, unacceptable. So trustees, residents, keep watching. Don't trust the YouTube page. We're going to keep putting this madness out here because it, it got to stop. It got to stop. And again, nobody was checking for this until the mayor got on TV and lied right to the camera. Smooth, with, without a bite in the eye. 
that is crazy. Yeah. You can lie like that that easy on stuff that you know can be verified. South suburbs by an unapologetic politician. Last fall, we detailed some of the expenses billed to taxpayers, and tonight, Ben Bradley's back with new bills and new questions. Micah and Ray, Tiffany Henyard and her team travel in style. First class, airfare, <laughs> fine dining, and five-star hotels. It's in sharp contrast to the communities they represent, which have a per capita. Y'all hear what that man said? Big Tiff be goddamn, yeah, she be out here big balling and chilling, nigga. Shit, ain't a motherfucking game, nigga. Y'all think Big Tiff gonna goddamn be running two goddamn, running 17 cities, nigga, and be the man one, nigga? And she ain't gonna ball out, nigga. Shit, nigga, that big tiff, nigga. Nigga, and she ain't spending none of her money to do it, nigga. She's spending yours. <laughs> Income of $29,000 a year, and 20% of the population lives below the poverty level. I am in the playoffs. <laughs> Tiffany Henyard has a taste for travel. Look old Sleepy Joe. Look at Big Tiff. Big Tiff taking her another selfie. Oh, Big Selfie. She got to get a selfie with Big Sleepy Joe. There she is front and center at the White House at a meeting for mayors this month. Oh, here together. The people's business. It's how she travels that caught our eye. I should not have to sit up here and break all this down. Henyard serves as the mayor of Dalton and supervisor of Thornton Township two elected positions that earned her more than $287,000 in 2022. But here's what happens when you ask her about how she spends taxpayer money. Remember my man just was saying a few minutes ago how she got on TV and live? Check this out. I do not handle anything as relates to with credit cards. As you heard me speak today in my board meeting about, I do not handle that. Some of those charges are for you, though. No, sir. You didn't go to Las Vegas? Mm. What, what is that? No comment. You don't know if you were in Las Vegas? Of course I do. Were you? It's not paid by them. Did you fly first class to Las Vegas? Any other questions? Political strife is a fact. <laughs> yeah, I think Big Tiff plan. Big Tiff ain't got to answer no motherfucking questions. Nigga, yeah, I flew first class, nigga. You know I did. You ain't even got a motherfucking act, nigga. I'm Big Tiff, nigga. If I'm gonna get on a motherfucking plane, nigga, if I'm gonna sit, if is she gonna sit them cheeks down on a seat in a plane, it's gonna be on first class. If it ain't a PJ, y'all fuck around and goddamn Big Tiff gonna get a plane in her name on the side of that motherfucker now. Tiffany Henry cares. Active life in local government here. You the ones that's costing the village money. Okay. I don't have that call. I would call. All right. Okay. okay. So what she's talking about? You want her to take you out? Don't check out the meeting. I made. I made a motion. As we've reported, public meetings frequently devolve into chaos. Municipal bills don't get paid. Several employees have sued, claiming retaliation, and some business owners claim Henry targets her opponents. Tiffany. Now y'all see an old girl right there with the um, with the with the purple on. Right here, remember. She was just talking with the microphone right here. Old girl with the purple. Remember, she was on the um at the meeting talking by her daughter, and they walked out with the police and shit. That's her right there. Some business owners claim Henyard targets her <coughs> opponents. Tiffany Henyard's spending and self promotion are big issues here. Her face is everywhere from government mailings to billboards. Those signs cost taxpayers more than twenty two thousand dollars. Again, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh yeah! She's also something of a social media star. God chose me. You may have hired me, but God chose me. Nobody knows something. Don't nobody know nothing. I don't think she's fit to be a mayor. I think she really want to be a reality television star. <laughs> Nikita, nigga, big, big, big Tiff be flossing, nigga. She a star, nigga. She think Big Tiff playing, man. Big Tiff gonna run the city, nigga. Big Tiff gonna be a YouTube star, nigga. Everything, nigga. She she all around with that shit, nigga. And she balling on the goddamn taxpayer's money, nigga. Stop playing. Nikita Cloud was Tiffany Henyard's chief of staff in Dalton for less than a year. We spoke with her after WGN Investigates first exposed how Henyard and other officials spent thousands of dollars on trips, meals, and more that they've refused to explain. 
Now, a new batch of records from Thornton Township shows the spending spree hasn't slowed. Credit card charges show that in just five months, township taxpayers footed the bill for more than $23,000. Now, y'all think Big Tiff about to eat McDonald's? Now, you didn't think Big Tiff was finna go to Chick-fil-A, did you? Shh. Nigga, that's Big Tiff. Nigga, we eating fine cuisine, nigga. All the time. <laughs> All the time, nigga. I'm talking about nigga fine cuisine. You feel me? From Mr. Wong. <laughs> nigga, we talking about goddamn fresh out the ocean, nigga. Shark tail, nigga. Stop playing. <laughs> in restaurant meals statewide, including this upscale winery chain and this steakhouse near O'Hare. Then there's the travel. Records show township officials spent more than $67,000 on trips to Portland, Austin, Atlanta, and New York City. Many of the flights were first class. So were the accommodations. In Atlanta, they stayed at the Four Seasons, costing taxpayers more than $9,000. Now, you ain't thought Big Tiff was going to stay at a Motel 6, did you? Now, you definitely had life fucked up if you thought Big Tiff was finna goddamn go to a Motel 6, nigga. What the fuck? Shit, nigga. <laughs> you got life fucked up, nigga. All this motherfucking good tax money I got, nigga. This good taxpayer money I got, nigga. I'm finna ball out, nigga. We're going to the Ritz-Carlton, nigga. We're going to Four Seasons tonight. Oh, uh, can you take me to the Four Seasons? Dollars In New York, the bill came to $13,000 for a stay in Times Square. Nikita Cloud wasn't on those trips, but has been to many meals with Henyard and her cronies, who she says have no qualms about using public money for private enjoyment. Over-the-top meals, lobster, you know, crab legs. She liked the good stuff. And when we... Nigga, she... Nigga, what? Crab legs, nigga. What you think this is, fam? They just killed that crab like five minutes ago. Big, hip, big boy, Big Tiff don't play no games like that, boy. You better stop playing, boy. You were with her at these meals. Was government business discussed? No. Henyard and her allies have defended the spending, claiming the trips are for conferences or to help recruit new businesses. Do you know the, the government purpose of any of that travel? Um, no, I really don't. Chris Gonzalez is the last remaining Henyard opponent on the township board. And what happens when you ask? Nothing. Really, just no answers. I don't have any comment on that. Trustee Jerry Jones was on that first class trip to New York. Still don't have a comment. Sir, you're a trustee. Well, once again, I don't have a comment. We went to a recent... Stick to the cold, nigga. Stick to the cold. Nigga, I ain't got shit to say. I just told you that, fam. Now back your ass up. In township meeting to get in... Answers. Hello, That's Keith Freeman. He's Henyard's advisor at the township, village administrator in Dalton, and he's also the registered agent of Tiffany Henyard Cares. But there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we move, and shaking boom like we move. Right, thank you. Right. Henyard's namesake charity claims to support cancer patients and has benefited from public money, but has failed to file required paperwork showing. Now, mind you, Big Tiff said. That that ain't her goddamn uh, camp. Um, um, uh, her goddamn charity. Shit, Big Tiff said that ain't hers, dog. The Tiffany Hingard Cares Foundation ain't hers. That's what she said. Where any? But y'all see on the on the video of its money goes. The Illinois Attorney General is now threatening legal action. How come you don't respond to my emails? Ah, there you go. There you go. Huh? There you go. That's all you're getting from me. That's all you're getting from me today. How come the charity hasn't filed uh, its financial disclosures about how money was spent? How would I know that? That's a good question, though. A question we had hoped to pose to Tiffany Henyard, but the township meeting was abruptly canceled 30 minutes after it was scheduled to begin. Henyard was in the house, but went out a back door with Freeman in her wake. Keith, we'd like to talk to you or Supervisor Henyard about some of the questions. <laughs> You've been the township assessor <laughs> for more than 10 years now. Right. Hey, would you call this a functional government? Not totally. No. Transparent? 
Not really. Are you concerned about how money is being spent? Yes. Here's what happened when we questioned Henyard in November. All right. Any other questions? So you're not going to answer how taxpayer dollars are being spent? That seems I just, odd. I just answered it. What do you mean? I just answered your question. You said you wouldn't answer about Las Vegas. You asked me a question and I responded. Yeah, I can imagine goddamn Big Tiff on Club Shay Shay. Both of go both of her and Big Shannon got them on it. So any Let, other questions you yes. may have? I'll keep asking questions and um unfortunately not getting answers, but I'm not gonna stop. While Henyard hasn't responded to our detailed questions for weeks, a public relations firm retained by the township emailed yesterday to say many of the meals are for seniors and community events, and the travel builds partnerships and attracts investment. The PR firm, though, offered no details. Tiffany Henyard's township office pays her well over $200,000 a year. She and her allies recently passed a law that said... Y'all see Big Tiff getting that check, right? But the whole play by Big Tiff is, right? Big Tiff say, shit, y'all gonna pay me like damn near 300 But if I lose the seat, Y'all gonna pay the next man 25 G's. <laughs> Big Tiff ain't playing no game. She ain't cut no corners with none of y'all ass. She gonna ride this goddamn this goddamn pony all the way to the top. Says if she's reelected, she'll keep receiving that amount. But if someone new takes over, their pay it will shrink to just twenty five thousand dollars a year. Move many say will discourage people from challenging Henyard for her job. But you're not done with this topic. More, more to come, right? No, we're, we're not. Coming up at 10 o'clock, we're going to the impact of dysfunction there. A former police chief and a food pantry operator say they are the latest examples of what can happen to people who cross the self-anointed political boss of the South Summers. So you got to Thank you, Ben. See, just when you think Big Tip be playing with y'all ass, she don't. So y'all niggas better relax, relax, relax. So let's go to Tiffany Henry cares. Remember she said, she told, now remember, now y'all seen her all in the video. Goddamn doing her thing. So y'all remember, y'all seen Big Tiff goddamn twerking and shaking that thing up, goddamn, right? And doing her thing and her fucking name and face is all the damn. The advertisement for the, the the campaign, but the dude remember the post remember the uh the reporter was asking Keith Freeman for the damn reports. Well, you get to see what's going on and why they was asking all that and what was going on with that. The Illinois Attorney General's office now ordering a charity run uh, by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard to stop soliciting donations. The charity called Tiffany Henyard Cares failed to register with the Attorney General's office or disclose how much money it raised and how the money is being spent. Fox 32 first raised questions about her charity last year. Our investigation with the Illinois Answers Project found she was using public employees and taxpayer dollars to support the charity, including a $10,000 donation from Thornton Township, where she... Yeah, I think it's a motherfucking game, nigga. Big Tiff run the township and the mayor, and she the mayor, nigga, adult, nigga. Of course she's going to donate to herself, nigga. <laughs> is supervisor. AG's office says it is evaluating further action against the charity to protect donors and enforce state laws about charitable giving. So I want to set the record straight. I don't have a foundation. I am a supporter of anybody that's struggling with cancer. My mom had breast cancer, and I'm always push anybody. Man, y'all remember y'all seen Big Tiff got down dancing in front of that motherfucker. She got her face on the cover of that bitch and her name, but she said it ain't hers. If someone uses my name to push their charity, or if you say this is Tiffany T-shirt, people gonna buy it. Cause right now, consider what clickbait. People make money off of my name by views. So you just so say my you name. don't have a you say you say you don't have a I foundation. don't. I do not, and that's okay. why I tell everybody go do your research. I'm not on anything. So, so we see all of this back and forth when we see. Now, mind you, they railroaded the shit out of old old goddamn uh. Oh, oh, big Roly Martin right here. Big Roly Poly Martin right here. Because this nigga here, 
he loved to go in on people who was a Republican. You feel me? He like real be disrespectful, lie with niggas. Matter of fact, in this same interview, he had goddamn went crazy on um on Trusty House. But at the same time, if you look at how he doing her, he he babysit her. But then as soon as he got with house, he tried house like goddamn house was the problem when he was sitting there with the problem the whole time. If you goddamn go to this interview right here, they railroad the shit out of him in the comments for this. This is going like forward. Have you, um, and I've seen this happen before with school districts. Um, I've seen this happen before with city councils. Mm -hmm. uh, have you called in the state to come mediate? Did I call in the state? Have you called? Have you, have you reached out to the state to come in and mediate what's going on here? So I've seen I've seen school boards where you have lots of drama and t Texas Education Agency, you know, comes in and deals with that. You're having these issues there. Have you reached out? The state lawmakers, have you reached out to state representative senators to say, hey, how can we resolve these issues? Because Big Tip ain't about to motherfucking call no motherfucking police, nigga. What the fuck, Big Tip about to go to the folks for, nigga? She know what's going on? Big Roly, you the only one that ain't knew what was going on, fam. Now, why you sitting there looking green and look at Big Tip? Big Tip like, nigga, look at this nigga. Look at Big Tip looking at that nigga like, nigga. The fuck I'm about to tell do all that for, nigga. Fuck up my shit I got going on, nigga. You see, I just gave the goddamn foundation 10 G's, nigga. I know exactly who run that motherfucker. If they're not paying bills, if legal fees are piling up, mm -hmm. that's just more taxpayer money being spent. Correct. And yes, we have. So maybe two people might have reached out to us in the beginning. We was doing kumbaya. We was having meetings. We was talking about what we have an issue with one another. The sad thing is, it just reminds me of high school. It's just a he say, she say thing. Well, I don't like you because of this, or I don't understand this. It was more of that than basically taking care of the business of the town. We got elected to serve. That's it. We didn't get elected to make sure we like one another. And that's why I get upset with people that are in. Now, see, we ain't, this shit already long as hell. And we didn't even get to the goddamn township meeting or none of that shit yet. For real, for real. I think we pretty much covered this part though with this nigga here um thing. I'm I'm gonna let her, I'm gonna let her talk about the time. So it's a strong arm tactic when you uh, behind the scenes, and then when you see her on the on the camera and the tape, it's it, she it tries to play kind of the, the victim role. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. She's right. she's great at playing the victim. <laughs> yeah. I mean, very good. I, I almost felt like I was watching the interview with um, R. Kelly and Gil. Oh, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I did. I got those vibes, too. I get those vibes. Oh, Trusty House about to be the goddamn mayor this year. He gonna goddamn, they gonna vote her ass out. <laughs> it's, yeah, I've been doing this, but okay, I'll stop. But that, that was the um, feel that I got from watching so, that. Well, just to, this is my own personal interest, is that how many votes do you need to override the mayor's veto? Because you got six board members, right? Yeah. You need four. So, so you, so you would need essentially. What was it two thirds majority? Two thirds majority. So, but all right. So, because you guys are in a unique number situation, where if you get the four board members to approve, so any actually majority of the board is yeah. a two thirds majority. Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Which also makes the veto. Um... Goddamn, Big Tiff won by eighty-two percent. Trustee House. You heard what she said. Such a, a waste of the a waste of time in the promotion of the argument because we'll go in, we we make our points, we vote it. It's argued during that period of time in the residents and the community, and everybody has to sit there and suffer through that. But mm -hmm. then the next meeting, you come and there's a veto, knowing that there's enough votes already to overturn the veto. Uh, but there's a veto just for another public dis de uh, demonstration of anger and frustration, just to come to the third meeting and override it and hear more of the same. It really it's really draining on. Uh, on the board, it's, it's trained on the community, and is where if, if there is an acceptance of democracy, then that's where I think we're that's where we're really are falling short is that the mayor does not accept democracy. Well, I, I would say I would say maybe you guys need to like have some type of ordinance for veto-proof majority, right? If there's a if something passes with the veto, which, which essentially is everything, right? It is, then then this then the, the, the issues foreclosed. Well, and, and, you know, and you mentioned that because I have a lot of Salsa residents and others, and we talk about well, if you pass an ordinance or whatever else, and or, uh, unfortunately, in Dalton, ordinances are not the solution because we have plenty of ordinances that say something. The reality is that this mayor does not follow ordinances. The, mm. the running joke around is that ordinances are suggestions in Dalton. Mm. You not follow. You're not. There are plenty of things that we have on the books. There's no, you can, the mayors should not hire or fire anybody without the advice and consent of the board, meaning the mayor uh, is totally by state statute and everything entitled to do that, to initiate a hiring or a termination. But then it 
But Big Tiff been firing motherfuckers. You seen she walk old girl ass out the door. She got them folks to walk walk old girl ass out the door, ain't it? Big Tiff will let your ass go. She don't give a damn about no board, none of that shit. There, yeah. y'all got life fucked up. Big Tiff run the show, nigga. Trustee House. It needs to go to the board for confirmation. Mm -hmm. That's being trampled on right now, wow. trampled left and right because the ordinance is a suggestion. So, but then who, but then who enforces your ordinances then? Oh, uh, and that's where we end up in court with many cases that get that pinned for multiple years. Uh, we make the request. That's why the request for the invent the formal request for investigation is out there because um, we've made many asks, and it's uh, and I'm sure well, it's been reported that there are already investigations going. Yeah. Um, as a board member, we um, we welcome the board welcomes any investigations. We feel that uh, we've been open and transparent, um, and but we that we are seeking that level of intervention because ordinances are being trampled on. So I remember there was a board member, there was a board meeting, and what she said, the FBI was on you. And Sick of trusty.